we don't anticipate this being any limiting factor for Cybertruck or anything else. For Tesla, Cybertruck has the potential to be a cash cow, just like the F-150 was several decades ago. As it gets closer to the start of production, the more heat it is generating among Tesla followers. It recently appeared with a ton of clues about strange designs before actually entering the final lap. So, what interesting final touches has Cybertruck made, and how is it superior to the competition? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. We're in the, the, the final uh, lap for Cybertruck. While Tesla hasn't revealed the final design, Unplugged Performance, the company behind the new lightweight forged 6061T6 aerospace grade aluminum wheel, claims its Cyber Hex design is the first aftermarket wheel specifically modeled for the Tesla Cybertruck. The Cyber Hex was designed through a partnership with Sasha Solipanov, a sports car designer and friend of Ben Schaefer. Unplugged Performances, co-founder and CEO. Selepinov added he was excited to team up with UP for the new design and wanted something that would be suitable for both Earth and Mars. I'm excited to team up with Unplugged Performance for this new wheel design. We aimed for something that looked equally at home on Earth and on Mars. The result is a great match for the brutalist aesthetics of the Tesla Cybertruck, Selepinov said. The Cyberhex is available in four finishes, gloss black slash machine, satin black, satin bronze, and satin titanium. Size ranges from 20 to 22 inches in staggered and matching front and rear fitments. Cybertruck customers can pre-order the Cyberhex wheels for a refundable $69.42. The full price will be $6,000 to $6,800 for the full set. While the wheels are designed for the Cybertruck, they can also fit Tesla's existing vehicles like the Model 3 and Y. In order for the wheels to match the Cybertruck's systems, the brake option will be changed to the large carbon ceramic brake kit, which was used on the Tesla Model S Plaid. So what's so special about this set of brakes? Well, Tesla has unveiled the new ready accessory kit for the Cybertruck carbon ceramic brake kit. This is the ultimate rear brake upgrade for your Cybertruck. Carbon ceramic brakes first made an appearance on aircraft in the 1970s, moving into motorsport the following decade. They're relatively new to production cars, having first appeared in 2002 when brake specialist Brembo provided a set for the Ferrari Enzo supercar. Designed for the ultimate track experience, the Cybertruck carbon ceramic brake kit is a complete hardware package that delivers maximum repeatable stopping power during high performance driving. The kit includes all new carbon silicon carbide rotors that are said to provide maximum high temperature durability and heat management, one piece forged calipers with high performance pads, and high temperature brake fluid. They're also more resistant to corrosion from salt and water in the US or Europe, where winters can be harsh and roads are periodically salted. However, the main downside remains the aforementioned cost. The brake kit is now 20,000 US dollars, and whether that cost can be justified is going to be a personal choice based mostly on your driving habits and your available budget. Moreover, Cybertruck is still equipped with a lot of classy and exciting features. Transparent metal glass or Elon would represent an innovation for Cybertruck. Elon will cooperate with the Cermet company to create glass for the Cybertruck so that it becomes the most potent and absolutely bulletproof. Elon is far lighter and thinner than traditional bulletproof glass, and it's three times harder than steel of the same thickness. The 1.6 inch thick Elon armor is capable of stopping 50 caliber armor piercing rounds, the same cartridge you would find on a Browning machine gun or anti-material rifle, such as the Barrett M82. Because of its incredible resilience, aluminum oxynitrate is being considered as a replacement material for the windows on the International Space Station. 
Some researchers believe that it will be strong enough to stand up to space debris traveling at thousands of miles an hour. Because of this glass's resistance to everyday pebbles on the highway, it is also expected to be very practical when applied to commercial shipping trucks. Moreover, such clear metal could be used to construct towering glass-walled skyscrapers that require less internal support. Military buildings could add additional security by installing thin, transparent metal windows impervious to the highest caliber artillery fire. And think of the monstrous aquarium you could build with this stuff. And now let's talk about a matter that is of more concern, which is, will these new designs increase the price of the Cybertruck? When it was unveiled in 2019, Musk said it would sell for $39,900. Although that was with a view that production was to begin in late 2021. Tesla has since raised the price of its vehicles due to significant inflationary pressure in raw materials and logistics during the crisis in Ukraine. However, it has reduced starting prices for its Model 3 and Y cars in China by up to 9% this week. He told analysts last week that demand was strong in the current quarter and said he expected Tesla to be recession resilient and that they are adjusting prices in line with costs. Compared to other pickup models in the same price range, Cybertruck is a truly unique and outstanding vehicle. But do you believe that it could defeat GM's Hummer? Well, the Hummer is shaped like a brick and it wears fairly aggressive tires, but still, wind noise is tolerable. The Hummer's tires are provided by Goodyear with 35 inches of rubber wrapped around 18 inches of the wheel at all four corners. GMC says you can add 37 inch tires if you'd like. However, bigger tires result in a rougher ride. But the most surprising tire fact about the Hummer is that it does not come with a spare. GMC designers told us it's a packaging problem, but for a vehicle that is supposed to be an off-road monster, the lack of a factory spare is egregiously bad. Besides that, terrain mode uses the Hummer's mechanical brakes, but the truck is calibrated to have the same pedal feel regardless of how it's being slowed down. It seems a pity then to bring the mechanical brakes in for this mode, leaving all that stopping energy to go to waste making it take much longer to stop than you're probably used to. But after all that's said and done, Cybertruck is gradually completing the design with the world's most impressive technologies. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode, and thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.